Hey, I went to the uh, outlet mall down in Estero, Florida, and I bought this shirt at the Adidas store. What do you think about it? Everybody's like, stop wearing the same shirt all the time. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I want to talk about uh, six important things most people don't consider um, to have as necessities. Um, um, uh, four of them are bartering items. Two of them are necessities that people generally don't consider. Well, one of them generally is something that people consider. And I'd give you some uh, hints on something that I actually know about. I know a lot about knives, actually, believe it or not. I know a whole lot more about another subject, but I can't talk about that on social media. As a uh, Department of Criminal Justice Training Division concealed carry instructor, which I let lapse, actually. I used to teach concealed carry courses. I have my own little uh, range that I bought off of a guy that's since retired out of the industry. Just to show you something to show that I have skills. I can't show you what goes in the holster because this is social media, but you could probably figure it out. I actually made this like a few days before I went to Florida. I'm just back from Florida. I got off the plane today. This is completely 100% hand cut and handmade by me. I made it really quick. It could be a lot more polished and a lot more beautiful, but this is a Western rig for holding a single action. Specifically, it holds uh, my Uberti. It's an Uberti uh, 45 uh, LC. I'll let you figure out what LC stands for. And I mean, sewing these little loops in actually takes a tremendous amount of work. What do you think of that? This is a rig that I completely made myself. So yeah, I, I do have skills, believe it or not. Um, I also, too, went to uh, my uh, farm. I, one of the neighbors, probably, or somebody else. Generally, people don't trespass in Kentucky. The reason for that is you don't step on another man's land, son. I found this uh, nice uh, Tasco uh, trail camera. I tested it out. It holds four, uh, eight, excuse me, double A batteries. It has an infrared flash, and it can either do video or it can download the instruction manual for it, but. Um, <clears throat> since it's on my land, and yeah, someone actually had it uh, staked, they're probably uh, scouting out for deer. Um, but uh, it's on my land, that means it belongs to Mia, right? Mia. So yes, this is. It's only like thirty-three dollars on Amazon, but it's like, well, this is on my land. You could protest if you like, but I mean, I didn't give anybody permission to trespass on my land, so. You leave it on my land, that's how it works. It's, it's mine. So there's my free web camera. <laughs> I mean, not web camera. Excuse me. Hello. Um, trail camera. I was thinking a web camera. I wanted to talk about uh, several items. Uh, first off, some stuff that people generally don't consider. Uh, I met two people at the airport. It's like, oh, God, we watch your videos. This is really kind of fascinating. Uh, one... A lady, she was really sweet. I don't know what her name was. She handed her cell phone to my mother since I was traveling with my mother. And she wanted a picture with me, <laughs> with her arm around me. <laughs> and my mother's taking a picture of this strange lady. She's very nice and everything. She's like, oh, I gotta watch your videos. And, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of surreal, not bad surreal. Um, I can't show it in this video, but uh, because of social media, then it would look like I was promoting something and you actually can't talk about. Uh, you know, that particular product, but it's uh, alcohol, specifically vodka. You can actually download hundreds of uses for vodka. Now, I don't drink. I've been drunk like maybe four or five times in college. My mind is all I have left. I don't drink or do substances, but I do have, ooh, maybe 50 or so, roughly, 1.5 liters of, uh, of vodka, as I say in Russia. Not Stolichnaya. It's actually the stuff they sell at uh, Costco. And uh, you can actually can berries in it, stuff that doesn't keep as preserves. You know how they have, like, in the medical department, they have, like, body parts. And uh, basically, it's just a different version of alcohol. It's formaldehyde. And they used to 
preserve uh, like tissue samples and whatnot in alcohol. Anyway, you could preserve, I have berries and blueberries and all sorts of stuff in there. You could use it for cleaning and it is a, an amazing item for barter. And uh, one lady who was with her two sons, she said, I was watching your video about vodka because we're really, we're doing a little bit of prepping ourselves. Like, I never thought about that. My mother was listening to this. She, she, my mother was kind of, uh, uh, felt surreal too because, you know, people kept stopping me <laughs> in the airport. <laughs> By the way, I got hosed out of, uh, I didn't have, I had a, a laptop bag, which I didn't have on my itinerary. I got hosed by Legion Airline for 50 bucks. I got basically got robbed out of $50 because I had a backpack and my laptop satchel and they wanted to play a stickler. So I got hosed out of 50 bucks. Thanks a lot, Allegiant. Um, but that itself is a form of bartering. It has hundreds of uses. It is itself a own form of currency. It always has been. So there's a reason why I didn't bring it up here. I also too bought uh, two more gallons of raw honey and what's really important is that it's raw and the stuff you buy in the grocery store if it says it's raw it's probably not but it's also too not entirely honey. They're allowed to cut it with other things like high fructose corn syrup. Um, this is my favorite uh, place. There's plenty of good ones in Florida. Oh god! This is one gallon of raw. Man this stuff is I can't smell it through the plastic. Uh, one gallon of uh, orange blossom raw honey. Price has gone up uh, considerably on it, but this is the only food on earth that never ever goes bad. If it's raw honey, it's better than Neosporin on a cut. This is itself its own form of currency. You can make tinctures with this. Honey has as many if not more uses uh, than does uh, alcohol. It's form of currency. It can heal you. It's a food. Uh, man, there's just so many hundreds of uses for honey. Uh, I've got about uh, 15 gallons in the basement. I wish I had more. The stuff is quite expensive. But that's its own form of currency. Um, by the way, did you know that Nigeria has gone to, they're only allowing like $34 per day of withdrawal from the bank. They're going over to CBDC, Central, uh, uh, Central Bank Digital Currency. Absolutely amazing. It used to be called conspiratorial just a couple of years ago. But it's uh, tons of Aussies are sending me links that Australia is going full bore on digital. So those are two items that are its own form of currency, alcohol and honey, and have hundreds of uses. Here's something else nobody really considers. There's some really crummy ones out there that are soft. Basically, if you're torquing them through hard wood, they'll literally torque it out because the hardness on the stainless is not so good. These are grip uh, These are uh, These are three inches, but I can get them in two and a half inch. I got a bunch of these in the basement. You don't have to have them in stainless. You can actually get uh, like the big uh, bins that are basically like a hundred bucks that hold what, 10 pounds or something of screws. I forget what it is and I've got some of those in the basement. But these are stainless. These are three inch uh, by 10. You need to get Torx head screws. Obviously you need a battery powered uh, drill driver to go with this, obviously kind of necessitatively, which I've talked about endlessly. But these are themselves and have been for a really long time a form of currency. It lets you build things if you have any land, or repair things, seal up things, block off things. Nobody, when people talk about prepping, they never talk about some of the really vitally important things that are necessary, not only a form of currency, and these have always been a form of currency. They're quite expensive, especially the stainless ones. This is currency, by the way. This can fix your home or your cabin, uh, help you uh, put additions onto it. Of course, you would need a, uh, a portable sawmill. You know, I have many, 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 many lifetimes worth of uh, trees on my farm. I had to borrow somebody else, like, hey, I'll give you five tins of stainless torque screws for X number of uh, planks of wood, and I could stick an extension on my cabin. What I would actually do is, uh, do a modified uh, a log home, which of course you'd need a hatchet, uh, but it would be uh, the smaller logs because I'm 
I am too out of shape to actually haul the big logs. There's a special tool you actually have to use to uh, take those logs. Many people have actually built log cabins using huge logs. Just one person, one person only. You actually have to have rolling logs. That's a matter for another story. But this is its own form of currency. These are uh, stainless uh, Torx head screws. The Torx head's uh, bit with a drill driver lets you actually get in. The Phillips, you now they slip out, especially when you're hitting the hardwood. You need to get Torx head. Torx head, uh, but a lot of stainless ones are no good. They're just too soft. Uh, the grip right ones are actually really good. I've used the heck out of these for quite a long time. That's three levels of currency slash usefulness. Uh, the fourth one out of the six items uh, here is this. Uh, these are uh, singles. These are uh, Vienna Philharmonic, uh, the Österreich, Austrian. Uh, never buy. Um, <clears throat> Never buy American maple leaf. Excuse me, not American maple leaf. That's Canadian. Hello, American eagle. I'm thinking of two things at once. Uh, maple leaves are not too bad. Uh, Britannias are a bit more expensive than these. These are actually low premium. Cougarange used to be really cheap. Now their premium is way up. These at uh, current spot price uh, over premium over spot price are. $24.30 a piece. That obviously fluctuates every day, except for weekends. These are one ounce uh, bullion, 0.999 purity uh, from the uh, Austrian mint. These come in little tubes of 20. This is, you know, when, when the fiat currency turns into serious fiat currency, in other words, toilet paper, this is the stuff everybody should have rolls of. Yeah? At, uh, so you got 20 ounces here. Current price, of course, goes up and down every day of uh, 24 bucks. Uh, so you're looking at basically uh, right around $480 uh, for this tube of, uh, of uh, 20 one ounce uh, bullion coins. You need to get low premium stuff. Whatever you do, don't buy American Eagle. They're nearly twice as expensive. You're paying a radical amount of money for a premium over the actual silver content that's in it. Big no-no. I love American Eagles, but on silver, absolutely no freaking way. Why would you pay twice as much for the same amount of silver? It's like, whoa, it's American Eagle. So, well, yeah. And when it comes time to start using these things and using them for barter and purchase and what, no, 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 no. It'll all be about silver content. Not, nobody will give a damn that this one came from Austria and this one was minted in the United States. It really won't. At least nobody with a half a brain will care. Uh, going on to two last items. And by the way, uh, I should have mentioned... Of course, a lot of countries can't have it. The one thing that actually goes in the holster for that rig, by the way, is really kind of the number one thing to have, but I can't talk about that on social media. In a lot of countries, you can't have that. This is easily as one would last a person a lifetime. I've got like 20 of these I've given away as gifts. Uh, bigger is better on these. This is a six inch by half inch uh, diameter ferrocerium rod. It's only got one part. It can't break. It can't go wrong. It works in a pouring rainstorm. Not that you could light a fire in a pouring rainstorm. There's a striker here, but you could use any piece of steel to actually strike this. And uh, it was one of the most incredible th inventions ever. I put a rope on this so you could actually hang it around your neck. But you need a striker or a knife blade. A lot of people use a knife blade. Navy SEALs and Special Forces and Delta Force, they all have a ferrocerium rod somewhere on their person for starting a fire. Absolutely one of the most incredible, indispensable tools ever made. They're really quite cheap. Uh, the larger ones like this are generally between 15 and 20 bucks per. One person only needs one in their lifetime. You'll never wear one of them out. It's never going to break. It's never going to go bad. It's never going to expire. It will light anywhere everywhere not that anybody wants to just try to light a fire in a pouring rainstorm but it will for how long <laughs> the fire stays lit is another matter but it will light a fire these are incredible ferrocerium rods there's two different classes of knives uh, whether you pick uh, gerber or uh, or uh, my favorite in the world actually is the uh, is the uh, victorinox not this one this is my favorite of all time that i've used my entire life 
and I got three of these. This is the uh, Swiss Champ uh, Victorinox. Is the uh, the multi tool? It's the uh, the multi tool also too made by Victorinox. I should have brought one out. It's the best of all of them. Way better than Gerber. Way better than uh, what's the other company? Leatherman. Absolutely the best. Made way better. Um, they've gotten quite expensive, but a multi tool. You could call it a knife, but it's just a little pocket multi tool that everybody should have. Here's uh, three different ones. I should have brought out, I didn't bring it out here. It's my favorite of all time. Sorry I didn't bring the knife out here. It's called a Gerber LMF2. LMF, Larry Mike Foxtrot 2. It's uh, easily the most incredible survival knife. I mean, unless you want to spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. It's made in the United States in Oregon. Uh, the other one made by Gerber, also too made in the United States. Never buy those knives off of uh, eBay. They're all counterfeit. Literally, they're all counterfeit. This is called the Strong Arm. It comes in black and tan and uh, I think green. I've got like four or five of these. It comes in partially serrated or non-serrated. They are made in Portland, Oregon. They're 100% USA made. Uh, this is the Gerber Strong Arm. Right now they actually have a sale on these. These are normally $400. It is San Mai 3 steel, and it is made in Taiwan. Normally they're 400 bucks. Right now you can get them for like 217 on Amazon. I got a couple of these. This is the Magnum uh, Tanto, for example. You could actually see the uh, line right there is uh, a sandwich of, uh, not, it's not VGT, VG10 uh, stainless. I forget the type of steel that are actually used in the Tantos from uh, Cold Steel. Just as good as the old cold steels when cold steel first started and they were making really killer stuff that people love. These are made just as well as I remember the old ones are. So right now these are half off. I made this sheath by the way. Another one's always been my favorite. It's the Taipan. It used to come with a leather sheath. Now that comes with a plastic one. This is a sheath that I made. It's a very simple one. This is the uh, Taipan. This is currently I think like 40% off on Amazon. This is also too a uh, San Mai uh, uh, steel, layered steel. It's um, made in uh, Taiwan. It's actually a quality piece. Nobody actually out there uh, complains about it. And I used to have one of the old ones. I can't tell a single difference between the really old original uh, cold steel Taipans uh, than I can from this one. But two different classes of knives. Survival knife versus utility knife. Whether that's Leatherman or Gerber, which both currently actually suck. I wouldn't recommend buying one. recommend getting the Victorinox multi-tool. It's called the CS Swiss Tool. The CS Plus Swiss Tool. It's quite expensive. My God, there's nothing finer than that. Um, I got a couple of them. I'm sorry I didn't dig through to bring it out here for video. But consider those four items for barter. Um, alcohol, honey, Torx head screws, and tubes of low premium silver bullion. It has to be low premium unless you like wasting your money unnecessarily. Low premium. Low premium are um, these, Vienna Philharmonic, the uh, Kangaroos from Australia, the Roos. Um, third lowest premium actually is the Britannia. It's like a dollar fifty more premium, but these are uh, the cheapest that I know of, the Vienna, Vienna Philharmonic. Um, it depends on where you buy, depends on what the current spot price is, depends on whether your state charges tax on bullion. Some do, some don't, and some of them will give you a cut if you buy, you know, 500 ounces, for example, or whatever. This is, at current price, once again, this is about $480 for uh, 20 ounces of uh, pure uh, uh, silver bullion. Everybody should actually have, uh, like, 10... Five, five to ten tubes of these. This is real money. It always has been. People say gold, gold, gold. Well, you know, if you have the money to spend up teen that gold right now is way too radically high. The best thing to buy right now is silver, not gold. So, anyway, wanted to make a fun little video. Thanks for watching. And I'm glad I'm back from Florida. That was exhausting work. Thank you.